I'm crying in a Buffalo Wild Wings in Times Square. Oh, don't touch my eyes. I'm gonna try all of the wings from the least spicy to the spiciest wing ever. Whenever something says caution on it that you're about to put in your mouth, you're like, this will work out well. The last time I ate as many wings as I'm gonna eat today was during a wing eating contest, and it's the only food eating contest I've lost. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready to just really prove myself. Here goes nothing. This is a beautiful moment. And because I can't have wings without alcohol. I'm really excited. I don't know which one to start with, but I think based on how the menu plays it out, we should go with the sweetest to the hottest so I don't kill my taste buds along the way. You can see the one that says caution hot here. We know what's gonna happen when I eat that one. We know I'm going to cry and like, my stomach's gonna be on fire. Oh, it's so hot. So I'm not gonna purposely eat that one first. You guys don't get to see that first. Let's go. It's really tangy. It's almost like candy, but a really good candy, a savory candy. Next one, teriyaki. This is gonna be a good one. I love it because it's just so sticky. I think I like sweet barbecue more than the teriyaki. It has more of like a soy sauce flavor to it with the teriyaki. It's fine, There's, a, I think there's better. So we got lemon pepper here. You can see the seasoning, you know, like they're not playing around. That's really nice. The lemon is really refreshing on a wing. I really like that. We're doing bourbon honey mustard. I'm gonna do a boneless version of this one. There are so many things happening. This one goes from sweet to tangy. The mustard catches you by surprise at the end. This one has levels. It has levels to it. <laughs> Look! <laughs> My head is stuck to the napkin. Napkin count is beginning. Napkin count two. If you like salt and vinegar potato chips, they nailed it on that. Ready for the dunk? If you use ranch, you're not doing it right. Do not fight me on it. I went to school in upstate. We use blue cheese. It is what you're supposed to use. Ooh. You can never go wrong with buffalo wings, just traditional style. There's a reason why it's always gonna be the original. Napkin three, I think. These ones look so rich and classy. I love that they have their own sauce on them too. Decadent, I would say, for a wing. Super cheesy, super rich. You can't eat a dozen of these, for sure. It'd be really hard. And this is the one right before it gets really spicy, like on the levels. So this one should be just a little bit, have more of a kick to it. N no tang, really, just very sweet, I would say, one note. It's a tame one. Very honey forward. <laughs> Not like my, my favorite, it's fine, it's okay. Buffalo medium, let's go. Oh my God, this one's a honker. Look at this thing. I don't think there's too much of a heat difference between this one and the medium. So I would say they're pretty similar. This one has more seasoning on it, so I actually wanna go with that one. Okay. Don't touch your eyes. That's all I wanna do is touch my eyes right now. It's not too spicy. It, it hits you a little bit after. Carrot break. I'm gonna do a boneless one of this because it just looks like a good one biter. It's spicy. I truly think I just took too big of a bite. Overheating. It's super garlicky and it makes it so it's not just one, like it's not just spicy and hot. It's like there's actually something else going on there. Actually, I think the Moscow Mules are a really good combo with the wings because it's kind of cutting through the spiciness. I feel like I'm already starting to overheat and I'm only on like level two or three. We're just gonna move on. It's a cutie. The heat creeps up on you and it's the perfect in between of spicy and sweet. I feel that I have no feelings about this one. Maybe it'll change my mind once I try it. That's nice. Does it feel like a traditional barbecue wing? And I really like that. It's it's a little bit, a little unique. It's anything like other Caribbean food I've had, it's gonna be pretty hot. It's really hard to place with the spices. It's like cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom. There's a bunch of different flavors. Mmm. I wouldn't typically order this one, but I'm glad that I got to try it, and I think that it's a sleeper hit. Hot barbecue.
That's really hot. This is where it's starting to get spicy. Like, you know when you just start putting spicy stuff in, in it to make it spicy? I'm not enjoying it the same. <laughs> I think if you ate two or three in a row, you would actually be like sweating. Limited time only. This one is really pretty. It's like a jalapeno popper without the cream cheese in it, so it's very straightforward jalapeno. It's not sweet, it's just spicy. Thai curry, Thai curry, Thai curry. This one doesn't look like it's gonna be that intimidating. It doesn't look like it's that spicy, but I feel like as soon as I say that, it's gonna be like the silent killer. I just took the smallest bite because I'm so scared. Mmm, no. It's just good. Oh, and it builds up on you at the end. The heat is in the back of my throat on this one. It's like every time I breathe, I can feel the heat from it. I'm gonna start sweating. So this is the second hottest of the buffalo wings. <sighs> Sorry. I don't think buffalo hot should be after the Thai curry one. I don't think it's as spicy. But it's, it's hitting me now. But also I'm using the blue cheese to kind of, it's kind of cutting through it. I would say that if you like classic buffalo wings, but you want to give yourself a little bit more of a kick, go with this one. I love wings so much, and I feel like this is really putting a test to my relationship with them. I don't think I'm gonna look at a wing the same way ever again, and I think that's okay. That's actually, that's a really nice spicy. If you really like really hot foods, but you don't wanna destroy your stomach in the meantime, go with the desert heat. We're on our final three. Mango habanero, buffalo wild, my arch nemesis, blazon. It hasn't been that bad. I've had a few mental breakdowns along the way, but I've recovered. Let's see how bad it gets. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not as scared about this one because it has mango in it, so I'm like, there's still the chance it's gonna be a little sweet. Mango is pretty sugary. I think I'm going into it with too high of hopes. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. That is so messed up to call it a cute name, like Mango Habanero, because you're like, Mango, how sweet, how nice, and that is not nice. The curry one, back of the throat hurt. Mango one is tip of your tongue. It hurts. I did not prepare myself correctly for this at all. Also, look at all the napkins. I didn't even think about the fact that I would have to use this many. Because it's a buffalo one, it gets its dipping. I think I'm gonna survive this one. Very manageable, very doable, considering I feel like I am a little bit of a baby about the spiciness right now. Last one. This is what I was built for, I can do this, it's fine. I'm being really dramatic about it, it's fine. Like, this will be fine. <laughs> This is my arch nemesis. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? It's a, it's a chicken wing. Okay. Oh no. That's not nice. That one's so mean. I'm like, Every time I breathe, the heat is coming out and it hurts. You're laughing at me. I think I feel a tear. Literally, the only thing that's making this better is taking this drink and putting it up against my lips. I don't know who orders Blazin for fun. Whoever you are, tell me who you are and I will report you. I feel like I'm still about to cry because the heat is still within me forever. The only way to end this is just like a mojito and the cornita. Buffalo Wild Wings. Who knew this would be the one that really breaks me down to my core? If there's a place that we haven't gone yet that you really want me to try that's your favorite menu, let me know. Write down below, let us know. And as always, none of the food goes to waste. I know that's a big question. We always pack it and we bring it back to the office for everyone else. On that note, I will stay here and sleep.